So this is a short walkthrough on the Bluemax engine uh, monitor. This is uh, how it will look when you first open up the app on an iPad. Um, nothing happens basically. So if you uh, swipe left or right on there, you'll be able to move across to the utility page. And uh, the first thing we'll demonstrate here is the demo mode button. We tap on that. It uh, connects to a simulated device. Uh, it just running some data that has been captured from a real aircraft but uh, over a short period of time and it repeats. Now it's popped up a dialogue asking us to uh, tell it how much fuel was on board the aircraft before we took off. So let's say in this case we had um, Tabes fuel on both sides, 30 gallons, and uh, we'll want to nominate which tank we're drawing from. Let's uh, say the left tank. So tapping on that fuel selector icon toggles it from one side to the other. Uh, hit OK, and now we've got some data being displayed. You'll see that the all the uh, engine instruments are in the green. We've got uh, one CHT there looking a bit high, 385 degrees, uh, it's, so it's flagged as yellow. Uh, the uh, Some of the data up the top isn't very um, significant. Our ground speed isn't zero knots because there is no GPS connected. Uh, but the rest of it, 3 hours 21 uh, fuel left of the current uh, fuel burn and uh, 47 gallons remaining on board after having used 13.1 since takeoff, evidently. So that will just continue to uh, sit there and uh, cycle away like that. If we swipe back to the utility page and uh, hit the stop monitoring button that disconnects from the uh, demo mode, and now tap on the manage Bluetooth uh, button, and we've got a page here that uh, scans for any Bluemax devices that are nearby, and we have found one, it's called Bluemax. Uh, we can tap on that and we get a dialog there uh, with the choices. Uh, the top one is connect and that's uh, generally the one we want, connect to that. And uh, now we're getting some data from uh, a uh, rather more, slightly more real aircraft, although it's uh, still in this case a simulation playing back some recorded data. Uh, now the first thing it's done is asked us to choose a profile. It needs to know what kind of uh, Cirrus that we're flying. Is it a uh, a G3 normally aspirated? Is it a, a G3 turbo normalized? Uh, they have different um, uh, fuel tank sizes in particular. Uh, let's just say for the moment that it's going to be a, um, a G2 turbo normalized. Select that, hit OK. Again, we're prompted to put, say, how much fuel we had on board. So let's say we uh, filled it to tabs on both sides. And um, uh, that gives us uh, 47 gallons in total. Select we're drawing, say, from the right tank, hit OK, and here we are. Um, the power looks a bit high. Um, that's because our manifold pressure looks a bit high. Maybe our manifold pressure gauge um, sensor is uh, incorrectly calibrated. Well, we can do something about that. Let's go back to Manage Bluetooth, tap on that Bluemax device again and click Configure. Now here we've got a chill. We can, uh, firstly, we can rename the device. Uh, we can uh, call it something else. Let's call it um, uh, November uh, 112, and uh, we'll leave the interface alone because it's a G. Uh, it's a, got a DAU, not an SIU. Uh, but let's say that um, the uh, manifold uh, uh, pressure we know reads two inches high. Uh, put in a minus two there. Uh, Configures updated, go back, and uh, now our manifold pressure looks much more reasonable. Um, it's uh, applied an offset to that to compensate for inaccuracies in the sensor. Uh, if we want to switch tanks, uh, we can tap on the uh, fuel group up on the top right hand side, top right hand corner, and uh, we can tap on that selector to say we're now drawing from the other tank, and that will affect uh, the record of how much is in each tank that's being kept. Uh, while this is going on, it's um, capturing a log file for us. Uh, you can see there, there's uh, one log file being um, captured. If we select that down the bottom now, we have a uh, share button and we can um, upload that to various places. If you've got Dropbox, you can um, tap on there. It'll ask you to log in. We can also update, uh, upload to uh, the Control-J website, no password needed. This is mainly used for uh, debug purposes. Uh, and uh, if you've got a Savvy Analysis account, you can um, upload uh, your files to there. You'll need to put in your um, email address 
and uh, and your password that you registered on um, Savvy in order to upload there. Um, back on the utility page, uh, if you have any issues with the um, app, you may want to send a debug report that will send a copy of the uh, uh, some interesting int background information that's been logged. Uh, you can capture serial data from either the um, engine or the GPS uh, serial uh, ports uh, that will uh, create another file in the log files which can also be uploaded. Uh, we can uh, also update the profile, click on choose profile and we get back to that uh, page where we said where we could update the uh, profile for the, for the aircraft. Um, that's basically it. It just continues doing what it's doing. Uh, you can see there's GPS data being registered there, GPS altitude. Uh, the pressure altitude in this case is coming from the iPad and so because we're on the ground at the moment it's uh, uh, reading our actual ground pressure altitude, not the simulated in-flight altitude. Um, that's about it. Um, if we uh, uh, stop uh, monitoring uh, and uh, actually exit the app. The next time that we uh, start the app up, it will attempt to reconnect to the same device that we had before. So uh, I can uh, close that app by swiping up, go back there, start it up, and in a moment there it is, connecting to Bluemax, automatically connected. And that's what will happen uh, when it's in the aircraft.